Hello and welcome to Trains in Vietic. And today we're back on the Garden Railway and looking up for electronics. I'm going to explain this in a minute. Uh, first of all, there's going to be a bonus video tomorrow, hopefully. I'm planning to go down to Gauge Master. And then next week we're going to have a running video. But today we're going to look up for electronics I've got in place, so now for the titles. So as we started here, we might as well start on this box. This is going to be our box where about all the garden railway electronics happen. In here we've got low connect coming in and out and then we've got 16 volts going to this unit here which will take it down to uh, 12 volts. We're going to use a bridge rectifier to do that which I'll show you in a minute. And then uh, we've got a DS64 which is connected via low connect. Then we've got a, a LG, LB, L, one of the, uh, who does it say, LGB uh, auto reverse modules as this input here connect to the shed and all the powers coming in here. So we've got two DCC which are that one and that one. One of them is going to be split across that and a V going back to the track. Then you've got the other feed for the other bit of track. Then you've got 16 volts and then for Digitracks, what do I call it? Digitracks ground, which isn't actually a ground just there. Then we've got this module here, which will step power 16 volts uh, alternating down to 12 volts DC once I have put in for bridge rectifier. So let's go up into the, onto my desk. And we can fit for uh, we can run through for bridge rectifier. This is for bridge rectifier, so I'll be putting for a sixteen volt alternating current in those two, and then I'll be getting sixteen volt uh, DC from those two. Then this will go into the buck converter, which I showed you in for bots, and that's going to be how I get for twelve volts out. So I've got these wires here, so I can get everything wired. What I'm going to do is when it's in the box, I'm just going to put hot glue all the way around it just to seal everything. So here's a bridge, a bridge rectifier again. So time to wire this in. So We've got our outputs there, which is brown is positive and blue is negative, and that's our output. So we go to this bit here and feed it in. Dad said that fist is easy to take out, which it is. Let me just remove the low connect cable and that will be easy to do. I'll quickly do that off camera and then we can have a test. So we so now I've got the 16 volts going out to the bridge rectifier which then go to the butt boost converter which then give me six, uh, 12 volts which then come out and go into the DS64 uh, from here we got the input so the next job will be to wire in the auto reverse section so I'll do that in a minute and explain how it goes this black box here is my auto reverse thing so you have for track in there and track out there so this should be an easiest job so I need 
two leads coming in which will be these two So I'll just strip them quickly with a wire stripper. Twist them something like this. Do the same on the other side. So twist them. And then final one, twist. So these then go into the magic box. Just need to make sure the ends aren't too long. So just trimming the ends and then I'll show you once they're in. So we now go for the first in loop wired in. So trap power come in there, then for the first go out there. We've got these two for the non reverse piece of track. And I'll show you how we connect that in a second. Cables. But I now need to connect them to the track. So I need to be quite destructive with this process. These fish plates need to come off. Sometimes I'm lucky and the track will move and give me access to take it off. Other times, I go and get my favourite uh, wire snippers, where I, when I can find them. These here. Bend it and take it off. So the next job is to get these on the track. So you've got two sides. I want it like that. So I put the first one on like that. Feed it onto the track like so. Do the same one for the other side. So that can meet up quite nicely like that. Then I put the power feed on there with a screw through there. Just make sure that everything has caught everything. Then we put the screw in the hole. and then just tighten everything up. We give a final tight with a, a electric screwdriver. So you just have four screws to do. And then you have your track connected so I'll show you when this is all sorted and then we can put it back on the layout. So this is where about the track goes. Before I show you the train running I'll quickly show you how we're connecting as I've shown you for the wire run but it's a bit in this bag. It's a trailer a plug and play t-bar so uh, that's what this kit is designed for. Let me just get into it. So we found this on Amazon and you get to plug and then you get 
the socket so when the equipment isn't in use we just disconnect the cables and then we have one of these on the butts which is a really useful butts and then we have this on the end of the cable to connect it we, the way we're running it is DCC along those two 16 volts there and then that one there is a low connect ground so that's those bits, so let's go and see the train running. So we now got power to the track. Uh, in a second you'll see the train coming around. I currently don't have low connect going to the box, therefore I can't do any points. But this is showing that the cables are working well to run the track. The way we'll be controlling it is using throttle and engine driver which is uh, using JMRI uh, to, on a computer. So if I steal this loco, I can increase the speed. And as you can see, speed's being increased. And the loco should now go flying around. It's just doing a little bit of a circuit. Week after next we'll have a proper running session when we'll show you all the trains. Uh, next week we'll go through the stock and see what else we get done. Uh, this week's video is going to change slightly. I'm hoping to be at Gage Master on Sunday which is tomorrow for the Brit Bridge Fest I think they're calling it. So I'll be putting out an additional video on Sunday but skipping Wednesday this week. But this is good progress on the layout. But one thing we have learnt already. My pet bunny rabbits like to eat the wires. So I have had to replace one because one of them have eaten it. I have had a stern talking to them and they won't do it again. So thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you all for the next video. Thank you very much, Richard.